Baby, baby, it's your boy Shaka B and that mafioso that done died at Coach Ninja with another chuck swinging behind his back, a.k.a. Shaka Black, a.k.a. Shaka Fuego, a.k.a. SB Panther, a.k.a. Shaka B and there, a.k.a. Shaka Black, a.k.a. Shaka Flame, man. Remember that, man. Remember that. But listen, the last week of boxing had to be, hands down, one of the most, and in 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 this year has been one of the most exciting years for boxing in a while, right? We got Terrence Crawford fighting Earl Spence. They've been waiting on that one for years, and then you had Inoue, Inoyu, Ino Inoue, Naoya Inoue versus Stephen Fulton, right? And they was getting on me about not replying to it. Let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing before we get into it. When I reacted to uh, Naoya, it was because I seen him and I liked his style. I didn't know he was going to be a hype thing. I didn't know any of that. It, was, it, it, it I just seen his style and I liked it, right? So I did not expect the fans of him to be attacking me. I, and another thing about me. They didn't attack me because I liked them. But if I, I give an unbiased perspective because I'm not a meat rider. I'm my own man. I ain't meat riding no man. You get what I'm saying? Understand that. So when I make a reaction video to Naoya and then I make a reaction video to Fulton, I'm just looking at both fighters from a, a fan, an observer, and an unbiased perspective. I don't have to go for anybody. I don't, you know what I'm saying? But that being said... They've been getting on me for not making reaction videos. I'm not hating on Naoya. But the thing is, y'all not finna come at me crazy. Simple. But we had a great fight last week, man. Naoya did his thing against Fulton. Um, and it was dope. It was dope to see, you know what I'm saying? He really, Fulton was scared the whole time. Let's be real. Bro didn't even pull no punches. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. The, it seems like this is going to be the era of the technical high ring iq fighters you know we got tank davis who come in and, and resemble us more of mike tyson you know we got power and knockouts but it seems like mayweather opened the doors for fighters who are smarter and can outsmart an opponent who may be bigger or stronger than them you get what i'm saying and that's the type of style i like i'm a thinker i like i like when i can see that a fighter is not just gonna brawl you and, and it'd be a slug. Well, I like a slug fest. I like a slug fest. But I like it when a fighter is quick on his toes, quick on his mind, and has a versatile technique. Right? And when we seen when Naoya going against Fulton was ridiculous. I mean, he, he outclassed him. You know what I'm saying? Now, do I think that's going to put him number one pound for pound? No, because Terrence Crawford absolutely did his thing last week. You get what I'm saying? Well, let's get into the highlights. And I ain't hating on Naoya, that's why. I ain't been reacting to his videos because y'all y'all be like acting like I got a meat ride. I am not a meat rider. Right. A stab jab down to the body. I ain't gonna lie. Fulton has no answer for it. He don't. And 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 he just like, yeah, them hoes hurting him. The reason why in a way can get there quick with that jab. I ain't gonna lie, Fulton didn't do good at all. Really hard to get in and out. Ooh! Listen, one thing about these last two fights that we watched this week, it 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 was an absolute domination from the fighter with the higher ring IQ. Fulton fights off the back foot. I feel like these that's not gonna work against Naoya. You feel me? Like, I feel like if Naoya goes to fight Javante. Javante might give him a run for his money. I'm, I, I ain't gonna lie. Let me be 100. If if Naoya Inoue fights Tank, I feel like Tank is gonna win. I'm not gonna even lie to you. But I feel like Naoya is a monster, which is he he's the monster, but he's he's 122 pounds. I'm not sure if they like Fulton's not even top top. He's not on the top pound for pound list. So beating him, I mean. It was decent, but he's not top pound for pound. So put him in the ring with somebody like a Haney, a Shakur, a Tank. And, it, and once he does that, give him. Oh, that was a crazy leap. Yeah. And then he chases him down. 
He destroyed Fulton him. Fulton is laid out, struggling to get to his feet. Fulton hurt badly. Destroyed the him. Monster on the attack. But we knew. Hey, hey look, look. Bell. Fulton ain't have no answer. But I, I knew when I first watched Naoya that he was a monster, bruh. I didn't, I didn't. I'm not riding no hype trains. You get what I'm saying? I just thought, bro, it was nice. It was a general reaction. I think he's nice. When I first watched him, I made the reaction. I thought he was nice. You get what I'm saying? I know he's nice. You know what I'm saying? Now I want to see him with some dogs, though. Put him in front of some dogs. Fulton ain't on nobody radar. Fulton, all right, man. As, as Fulton tried to grab the ropes. Fulton couldn't do nothing the, the whole corner. time. Here comes in a way. He beating the shit out of him. Decisive power does it again. The monster. Bro, he did his ass a dirty. Four division world champion. Stamping in Tokyo. He was having He's his way. His ass. Level changing jab right there. That was disgusting. Brought the eyes down to Fulton. Right hand right over the top, and here's the finish. One of the best finishers in boxing, if not the best. No, nah, he's not the best finisher in boxing. We know Crawford's the best finisher. Now, one thing that's going to happen is what's going to – like, he got he, he got his weight up. He fought Donaire. I seen Donaire fight on the undercard with Fulton – I mean, uh, with uh, Crawford and Spence. Um, I feel like – Donaire's, uh, you know, he might be. Uh, I'm not sure what ballot the Hall of Fame he is, but I think he's a Hall of Fame fighter. He's he's pretty accredited in the game. Um, what I say, Fulton's on the level of a Donaire? Hell no. Nah. He just his first black fighter. He's his first American fighter. Now, once he goes up to 130, because that's only eight pounds. If he can go up to 130 and weigh and dominate and get that, and, and he does something with Tank, nobody can say nothing about Naoya. Nobody can say anything about Naoya. But he has to get in front of them big names. Fulton, nobody's talking about Fulton like they're talking about a Shakur, a Haney, a Tank, the three kings. Get one of the three kings, they're going to crown you king. You know what I'm saying? I'm never going to throw more seasoning on bro than he deserves. He's nice. He has a style. He has potential. Just an onslaught. Of violent, vicious, and just destroying, bro. By you know ya in your inner way. In a way. A master boxer, a versatile guy. Don't get me wrong, he destroyed Fulton. I've never seen Fulton so tentative, and it was by a smaller guy. But and I mean, right he destroyed in that the man. First round to me, as God, soon as damn. he realized the speed, the power, the prowess, the technical Boom, ability, body, especially with the jab, and right up top, the power punches, the jab. The smaller his man won the jab battle. And, and then popped the his ass right there. Won the actual battle. When you win the Leaping jab battle it. test. He, he jumped all into everything that. Everything else follows, as you can see uh, here. Both feet off the he ground. He won 14 of his last 15 fights by knockout. The exception is the first fight, that fight now, of the year against Nonito Donaire. When and he listen, before y'all get on me, I'm going to speak the 100% truth, right? We got Canelo fighting Charlo. And we had Pacquiao. And now we got Naoya, right? The problem is, we know for a fact that Canelo, and I'm not using no excuse because I like Naoya, but the way y'all talking, bro, I'm just going to say my thoughts. He has to take that drug test because we know for a fact Canelo was on performance enhancement drugs. Alvarez. I mean, I mean, Pacquiao was too. You get what I'm saying? So, I do think it is important for him to come out to the U.S. and take those, you know what I'm saying, those tests and be held to the same standards. You get what I'm saying? He can't have the hometown advantage every time. You feel me? Foden went out to Tokyo. But does that take away... His, does that take away the credit and the, the skill that he has? No. But we need to make sure everything's done the way it is because there is, there is talk that he didn't want to agree to drug tests. Do I feel like he's trash? No. Do I feel like he, he is one of the top pound for pound, pound fighters? Yeah. Number two, I don't know. 
Number two, I feel like y'all y'all championing, bro. He a people's champ. People like him. And y'all giving him too much credit too fast. That's what I was saying about Spence. It's too much hype. Too fast. Well, not for Spence. Not too fast. But the hype will blind some fighters. We need to know what's real. I don't care about hype. I don't care about a fan. I don't care if you like me. I don't care about that. I don't care if you want me to deride your favorite fighter. Like I said, Spence had the hype. Me personally, with my own eyes, I didn't see him beating Crawford. I see now, oh yeah, he's nice, but if y'all finna say he better than the Tank, or y'all finna say he better than Shakur, I'm not gonna say he isn't. I'm gonna say prove it. Through a broken orbital bone and broken nose and still won the fight. That's, I still think that was his greatest fight. He found something in himself. No one can know that they have or not. This was extraordinary. Because I'm going to give an unbiased perspective, right? Because he destroyed Bro in this. And we know he destroyed Bro in it. But it seems like they had a problem when I was giving, uh, seeing, analyzing Fulton and seeing how he could. And I said, yeah, Donaire cracked his face. He broke his face. I, and, and I said, it's, it's a lot of great fighters who didn't get, get that type of injury sustained to them. That's the truth. Does that mean I think he's trash? No. Do that mean I, he's not one of my favorite fighters right now? No. But me, as a grown man, I'll never deride another man. So I'm going to look at everything, how I feel how, how I feel it is and what it is. I'm never going to ride no hype train. I'm going to ride my own hype train. Shout out to Kanye. I don't need your pussy, bitch. I'm on my own dick. World champion about? and the new WBC and WBO Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Nahoya, the monster. And that was a good one. He destroyed, bro. He destroyed, bro. You use the word. I never thought Fulton had a chance. His ability to have. I never thought Fulton had a chance. Speed. And nearly flawless punching technique to deliver. And it's not even the oh yeah, it's the little, it's the things y'all doing behind, bro. That made me be like, I'm not gonna keep reacting, to bro, because I don't, I'm not, I'm not a dick rider. That's why I didn't keep reacting, to bro. But for dude who came in the comments, yeah, bro, I think he's nice. I think he's gonna be one of the best, if not, I ain't gonna say he's gonna be the best, cause Crawford's the best. But I feel like if he moves up in weight divisions, then we gonna know the truth, the truth, cause. Like like they said, them lower divisions, we don't really pay attention to them fighters. We don't really know them. We don't really, they, you know what I'm saying? We might as well, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I don't think bro bad. I ain't never going to hit on in no way. In the, uh, not oh yeah, in no way. You get what I'm saying? But y'all got to be, y'all got to be, y'all got to understand I come from an unbiased perspective. And as an observer, I'm going to react. You get what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a bunch of great fighters. We got we got Canelo finna face Charlo. Then we got rumors of a Crawford versus Charlo. Not that it's saying it could happen because uh, they finna move old boy to uh, they just stripped Charlo of his title and finna move old boy up to um, to the champion in the one fifty four I believe. And Charlo, I mean you know what I'm saying. And Crawford might have to fight him. Then you got Mayweather talking about some he want to fight. Crawford, you know it's a lot of things going on in boxing. Now Oya is doing his thing, but understand, I'm a boxing fan. I like boxing and all types of fighters. So we're not. This is not a Na Oya channel, but I like Na Oya anyway. I think he got next. He baby Pacquiao, and it's gonna get understood. You know what I'm saying? Just know where I'm coming from. But it's your boy, Shaka being that mafioso the done died the ninja with the nunchuck swinging behind his back, aka Shaka Black, aka Shaka Fuego, aka. SB Panther, a.k.a. Soccer Black, a.k.a. Soccer Flame. Listen, like, comment, subscribe, dislike, subscribe, do what you do, man. It's your boy signing out. Peace.